Hi, it's Tracy from Two Rocks Tarot with this week's Pets in Spirit message. Now, this pet is a cat, and this particular cat uh, that I saw had a very wide lion-like face. It, it's almost, it's actually quite uncanny how, how this card looks like this particular cat that I saw. Um, but, you know, the face was, yeah, well, no, no, it was wide, a very wide face. And um, and the nose as well. And as you can see, the nose is quite prominent there, who looks cross-eyed. And this particular one does look like it's a little bit cross-eyed. Funny enough, my cat used to actually was cross-eyed when she was young. And then when she had kittens, her eyes uncrossed, I kid you not. <laughs> Um, now, this particular cat had the tip of its tongue stuck out and it was black with a white chest. So, um, yeah, so this cat used to like sitting there cross-eyed with its tongue, little tip of its tongue sticking out. So that's that's what I saw in the crystal ball. Um, so let's get to it. And, of course, I'll be using the pagan tarot cat, pagan tarot cats, whatever it's called, for the questions. So the first question is, what was the first thing you saw when you crossed over? And here we have got the two of cups. That's quite beautiful, isn't it? So I feel like the first thing he saw was another cat, okay, whether it was two cats or just another cat. But I'm feeling like that the first thing that he saw was another cat. So it was probably another cat who passed away before him. And I feel like that was the first thing he saw was this particular cat. Now, whether you own this cat or it was a, a cat that he was friend with, friends with down the street or whatever like that, or maybe one of your relatives who you used to pet sit or whatever, who's passed away, but that's the first thing he saw was another cat that meant a great deal to him, as you can tell by the two of cups, because I'm feeling a very strong bond between these two cats. They were very close in life, and uh, he missed them terribly. He or she missed them terribly when they passed away. And that was a long mourning. He, he mourned for them for a long, long time, so that was the first thing that he saw. So the next question is, uh, what does it look like where you are now? So what's this one here? And with the word courage on the bottom. Just leave that like that. You can steal that. So that's a, a crashing sea, isn't it? And I don't know if it will show up on the video, but there's like a map on here. So there's a map of something there. Uh can't quite make out what it says, particularly with that. Yeah, I can't quite make out what it says on there, what that word is. She might, for some reason, I want to have a look at the book. Let's just see if it says what it is. Courage, so I guess a rocky. Um, uh, no, it doesn't actually say. But I'll tell you what, two words just stuck out when I saw that is warrior of light actually really hit me between the eyes when I was looking. So I don't actually read, use the book. I just read the actual scenery. So that's an interesting card to come up with the cat, isn't it? Because most cats don't like water, but I'm getting the feeling that your cat did like water love to be near water indeed my um brother because um, there's 10 years between us but when he was a kid mum and dad and uh, they used to own a, a black cat and he used to actually go swimming in the sea with my brother i kid you not because everyone used to say oh how cruel but it wasn't the cat actually used to love swimming in the sea perhaps this was a trait that your cat had used to like to swim in water absolutely adored water so where uh, he or she is now is somewhere where there is a lot of water perhaps she does swim in the sea or some other type of body of water that she loved a lake because if you look at here uh, you know he's very still perhaps there was a lake nearby but i feel like that your cat actually loved um being in water and swimming in water and getting wet it was completely different so i think that's that's where he or she is now somewhere there is a lot of water and you can swim to its little hearts little content <laughs> So the next question is, what can you do now that you couldn't do in your earthly body? Oh, and, and look what come up. <laughs> I mean, seriously, we've got the we've got the sea behind the, this cat as well. So I definitely feel like that. Yeah, water was a just loved being in the water. Absolutely loved being in the water, and. Um, and, of course, when she got older, he or she, I'm leaning towards a she, um, you know, she couldn't do that anymore. 
absolutely couldn't do that anymore and i'm also very attracted to the whirling light that, that the cat is actually looking at and I, I feel like the you know how cats love to uh, pounce and play with ribbons and string or whatever like that um, she couldn't do that either because uh, mobility become to be a real issue for her as she got old. So I do feel like, um, yeah, that was another thing that she, she can do now is play to her heart. Not only can she swim, but she can play to her heart's content with bits of string uh, or, or whatever it is. Uh, because this is light, perhaps, you know, the, the summer lambs provide strings of light like that for our beautiful feline friends to play catch with. But, yeah, definitely. So the mobility... Um, she's got now you know she's she's definitely got all her mobility back and she swims and she plays and uh she's very happy <sighs> so let's have a look what can you tell me about yourself so your owner will recognize it's you so this card reminds me of um the cats that you see who attack christmas trees so I feel like this cat was was like that. She, if you put a Christmas tree up, she'd knock all the baubles off. She absolutely loved doing that type of a thing. So, um, and I've, look look down here, we've got feathers as well. So I do feel like she loved playing with feathers. So um, when I was getting lights, perhaps it was feathers that she really loved to play with. We've got a little uh, looks like to be a seashell there. So again, we've got that got that water element i mean indeed even having the two of cups you know this cat loved water <laughs> really loved water and i think this highlights that but i do feel like that she used to like uh, knocking the baubles off the christmas tree and and she used to like knocking off all sorts of things uh, off tables she used to love just knocking things off the table and if you look at that cat's eye it even looks cross-eyed She's very focused on, on getting that pentacle off the bush there. And I feel like your cat was like that. She used to love to knock things off tables, off, off the trees. And I think I even feel like you may have even hung things up off a tree on the outside uh, or even on the inside, an indoor plant or whatever, just so she would have the joy of knocking it off because she loved it that much. <laughs> That's really sweet. So let's have a look at what signs have you been sending to your owner? Here we have got the Ten of Wands. So what signs have you been sending to your owner? So what I'm feeling like, because if you have a look at these two, they almost look the same. I, I feel like you're finding little bits of twigs and stuff in the house that you live in. Um, I think you've been finding things. And so Because when you look at this particular card here, that your owner will recognise. You've got a little collection of different things. I mean, I, mean, I, I doubt very much it be a, a lit candle will be part of a collection that a cat collects. But, you know, some cats do collect things. So I did see somebody uh, in England whose cat used to love to pinch people's socks. You know, they, they used to have socks and underwear and all sorts of things that cat used to bring home. So perhaps this cat used to like to collect things as well. And I think you may find a little bit of a collection in your house somewhere that this cat has left behind. Whether you found that that shortly after she died or you've yet to still find it um but i feel like you're going to find some type of collection and because there's 10 you know it could be 10 things that you find from this cat it might be in one big bunch it could be dotted all over the house but i feel like you're going to find things like that i also feel like um that she's trying to i feel like you feel a great deal of guilt over her death um you may unfortunately have had to put it to sleep like i had to do to my beloved cat and and you do feel guilty i mean no matter how much they need to get you know it needs to happen because of illness or whatever you still you know you still have that what ifs in your head what if what if what if and i feel like that her message to you is uh is to release that burden because she's no longer bound up in pain or bowed down she's quite uh you know she's quite spry again and and happy you know she really is quite happy and at peace and i feel like that you need to let that burden go because it upsets her she you know you did everything you could for her and she knows that and so you need to release that burden and and that's why she's been sending you little you know you're finding little collections of hers here and there and um it's to remind you of <clears throat> who she used to be before she got sick because, you know, funny enough, my cat kind of had a bowed back like that towards the end because she had such bad arthritis in, in her back, you know, a bit of her spine and her legs. She, In fact, in fact, she used to drag her foot like that 
along the floor. She couldn't quite pick it up when she walked towards the end. So perhaps she was may have even been like that as well. Um, and all this has been relieved. She, you know, she's she's spry. She's beautiful. She's happy. She's, you know, and she wants you to know that. So don't feel burdened down by your grief. Okay, you need to let it go. So, and that's why she's, you know, you might be finding her little collections every now and again because she's trying to remind you of what she was like when she was young. She was happy and carefree. And what she's trying to tell you is that's what she's doing now on the other side. You know, she's no longer burdened with sickness or illness. She's she's free. She's exploring things. She's, she's knocking off to her heart's content, playing with feathers, collecting things, playing with beams of light or whatever it is on the other side. She's really, really happy. So she, you know, that's why she's sending you these signs. She's trying to let you know that that's what she's doing on the other side now. Okay. So let that grief go as hard as it is. And it never really goes. I'm not going to lie. My cat's been gone for, I think it's coming up to seven years this year. And I'm never going to have another cat again. I just can't do it. I just I just can't. Okay. She was my everything. I'm not having another cat. We're not going to have another dog either because Oscar was everything to us as well. So, you know, my husband, he does feel like he wants another dog. But, you know, we've been to animal shelters and things and you're just not feeling it. And... You know, so don't feel if someone's trying to pressure you into getting another animal, because a lot of people do that. A lot of people do get another pet to help them alleviate the loss they feel of the one that they've, you know, the pet that they've just lost. But for me, that's not a viable thing. And for you, it's probably not a viable thing. And you need to let that burden go. Don't let people push you into getting a pet when you don't want one, because it's not fair on them. Just, you know, just know that your grief will lessen as the time goes. But uh, it's always there with you because they leave a hole in their hearts. But she wants you to know that she, she's very happy on the other side. All right. So the last uh, one, is there anything you wish your owner to know? So there's anything that you wish your owner to know. And, he, and look at this card. Look at that card there. And, and that's exactly right. She's hopping over there. She's hopping happy. Um, it's That's a beautiful card, isn't it? <laughs> so that is the Nine of Wands, of course. But she's very, very happy over there. And I don't know if you may have had a dog that she used to ride on just like that. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be a fox. But perhaps that you used to own a dog that she used to sit on its back and they used to walk around together. I, I don't know if that rings a bell uh, at all. But um, if it is and he's passed, uh, they're doing it on the other side now. <laughs> But otherwise, uh, really, that she's full of energy and exuberance and she's very, very happy. I think this is the biggest message that your cat wants you to know is she is very, very happy, full of life and exuberance and um, and just loves you, really. Uh, but I think that's quite a funny. But yeah, I'm just wondering, did this cat used to ride on the back of your pet dog that you used to have? Even if it could have been a dog in the neighbourhood, I don't know. But, um, yeah. <laughs> I love it. I love it. It's a very feisty, beautiful cat as well. Uh, and she's just loving her. She's loving her afterlife. So release any guilt that you may feel. Truly release it. All right. If you feel you know who this message is for, please send them a link to this video. If it's for you, I'd love to hear your thoughts about it. If you've got any questions or anything like that, feel free to put any comments in the description box or email me privately if you don't wish to discuss it in public. And until next time, this is Tracy.